March 8th, we will see version 29.00 for LEGO Fortnite. So what are we going to be seeing? They do have some notes about later this month, so later this month, not tomorrow, we will see some updates for a steering wheel and more Mechanical Mayhem. Their words, not mine, for Mechanical Mayhem, that will be great because we finally will have a way to steer our vehicles so it's not just a straight shot. But that's the future, let's look at what's coming tomorrow and within the next couple of days after tomorrow. So this update is a little disappointing because it's really just a pure monetization update with these LEGO kits. We are seeing the ability to where you can display the legendary fish that you have caught, which is pretty cool. And there are some new LEGO outfits that are getting a, like, or an outfit getting a LEGO style. And I gotta say that this one does look pretty neat but the main meat and potatoes is this lego kit now the lego kits will be coming on march 9th so the day after the update drops and there are three kits that well two kits that we will see drop on the 9th and one that will drop on the 16th the first one that they're showing is the beachside boulevard bundle which will cost 1900 v bucks luckily it isn't just pure money you can spend it with v bucks so that's a, a little nice i guess but we see that there are seven builds and 44 decor items let me know how you feel about the different bundles that we see i again i am a little underwhelmed and i'm a little sad that it's really just we have to purchase these i wish that these were unlockable through gameplay or through some other progression within the game itself the second one is this Der Burger Bundle, which is 2,000 V-Bucks and has 3 builds and 41 decor items. So less decor and less builds than the beach side, but maybe these are a little bit more intricate or maybe these are larger. I'm not sure, we will have to see and we'll have to wait and find out. But the one that I'm the most excited for if I need to be excited for any of them is going to be this lion knight's castle bundle this comes out on march 16th so this will not come out on the 9th with the first two that i showed and it will be 2500 v bucks but there are 10 builds with 64 decor items and you can see a little sneak peek or what we're going to be able to see from this picture here i think it looks pretty cool as a way to build up a bit more of a castle than previously now there are also some limitations to these bundles that you buy which is a little stupid in your worlds i'm sure that you can place into an infinite amount of your own worlds you are only able to put these builds into eight of your friends worlds per week so you are limited in that regard it's a little strange that it's like hey i purchased this why are you limiting this but at least within your own worlds, you're able to put it down and build them an unlimited amount of times. Now, I'm assuming we're going to be getting a lot more of these LEGO kits in the future and with each update, so maybe we'll see the prices drop or we'll be seeing a lot more cool things within them. It's just the first time we're seeing them. There are also some bug fixes and some adjustments. The stability and performance the same old same old stuff every time the gameplay wise maybe some of these have been happening to you so if they are hopefully they no longer happen to you such as players no longer teleport getting out of chairs villagers using the loom will give correct resources villagers will follow you on the stairs the wheel attachments no longer teleport and damage your constructs as well as your constructs are less likely to break unexpectedly I know a lot of people doing more of those sky fortress or those more sky builds were seeing this issue so hopefully it means that when you do build some of those large constructs it will be a lot less likely to break and much more stable let me know what your favorite part of this update is down below and don't forget to like and subscribe i greatly appreciate it thanks for watching